decorate your room perfect for fall. The first DIY is a branch picture display and this branch I got it from the park and so it's real and I got some string and I put some pictures with it and then put some little fake leaves and some Christmas lights. So you can print your pictures or you can use some Polaroids and I decorated the Polaroids with some little pumpkins and some little bats um, perfect for fall. <laughs> The second DIY, I painted a canvas with some brown paint that makes it look like wood and I got some images from graphic stock and I cut out the little pumpkins and I glued them on to the canvas. I really wanted to engage with you guys and I wanted to see your DIY projects. So all you need to do is make a DIY using any image from graphic stock for any DIY you would like and post a picture on Instagram with the hashtag Fall with Crafty Amy and I'll be choosing two winners and you can get a $50 gift card. So make sure your account is unprivated so I can see your pictures and you can be entered in the giveaway. Make sure you post your images before October 31st and that's when I'll be contacting the two winners and Graphic Stock will be providing the gift cards. Make sure to check out the description box to see all the details written out on how to enter the giveaway. Let's get started with the DIYs! To decorate your Polaroids like I did, go on graphic stock and search any image you like. I searched pumpkins. This is perfect for any DIY you want to do because all the images are royalty free. After finding some cute ones, I dragged them over to pages on Mac and I just printed them out. For the pumpkin canvas decoration, I printed it to fit the whole page. The pictures I used for the Polaroids, I printed them about 2-5 to five inches. I'm just getting rid of the old decorations that I had forever and getting ready for the branch. Here's some snaps from Snapchat when I was looking for a branch. I'm gonna try and break this branch off, let's see if it works. Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I found a branch and I didn't have to break it, yes. <laughs> this branch is filthy. Yep, so that was my process. The struggle was real. You actually don't need a glue gun, but you'll need some string, some clothespins, and some fake leaves. And your beautiful pictures! These are from my 22nd birthday that just passed at the end of August. You also need the images you printed, some push pins, ruler, scissors, and a pencil. Cut three pieces of string that are 17 inches long. Tie the ends and put it through the branch. These are the strings that are going to hold up the branch to your wall. Take your push pins and put it through the string to hold up the branch. Perfect! Line up the Polaroids to get the measurements at the bottom of the picture. Now just cut them out. Use tape to decorate the pictures and don't worry it won't ruin your Polaroids. So it's only temporary. I also put a picture of wood to add some texture. Now that you got all your pictures, you're ready to hang them up. Take your string and tie it twice at the branch and then cut them at different lengths. Pin the string and the picture together with a mini clothespin. Time for the leaves! I got these at Beverly's for $6. Ooh, look at that scissor flip. The stem of the leaves has wire so you can just twist it around the branch and it'll stay. It's best to use wire cutting pliers because that wire on the leaves is tough. Just add some Christmas lights and you got a cute little photo display. The next DIY you'll need a canvas board and then some pictures of pumpkins that I got on graphic stock. Paint the canvas board with brown, acrylic or fabric paint in horizontal strokes. You want to leave some spots that are unpainted so it has that wood like texture. Now I'm adding some white and black paint for some more texture. 
make sure to keep doing horizontal strokes. Also, try not to blend the colors in too much. You want to keep that stroke look. <laughs> now, just let it dry for a couple hours. Use a Mod Podge to glue the pumpkins on. After that, paint over the pumpkins since this is a glossy glue. Now you got some cute pumpkins to hang on your wall. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see your DIYs so don't forget to hashtag them using Fall with Crafty Amy. If you like to keep up with me on my social medias, you can follow me at Crafty Amy on Instagram and Facebook at Crafty Amy 93 and I've been using Snapchat a lot lately so if you want to check out my snaps you can follow me at craftyamy93 thank you so much for watching Thanks,